Here we are a few days before the big game and the game is good, but unless your team's playing, it's probably more about the party. Our next guest has a few ideas to make that more memorable. He's former New York Giant and now a college football analyst, Jason Seahorn. Good morning, Jason. And good morning to you, and you are correct. It is about the day and the event <laughs> yeah. more so than anything. Hey, listen. It, I, it is an event now. I, I, I usually root for the Chiefs, so when they when they were out in the post, I'm sort of like, all right, the rest of it can fall into place. I started to think about, like, who am I watching the game with? What are we going to eat? And I see you've got some a, a spread there in front of you. What are the key ingredients, do you think, to throwing the perfect party? Well, before I get into the partners I've teamed up with, I think the most important ingredient you have to have you got to have your friends. you got to have mm -hmm. the right crew of people you're watching this game with because it's a commitment now. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday is a commitment to yeah. sit there and, and watch all the pregame, all the commercials, the long halftime show, uh -huh. all the, and the game itself. It's exhausting. So in prepping yourself for that, you've got to make sure you have everything you need. And uh -huh. what better way to start out than BJ's Wholesale Club, right? You know, they've got all their Wellesley products that you can go get, fill your house with. You have to have snacks. you got to have food. you got to have drinks. you got to have paper plates, you know, paper towels. You have to have all this stuff. They clean up to you know provide um, uh, your 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 friends your crew with food and snacks all day mm -hmm. long. Um, the second thing is you know I like to make sliders. So uh, Pepperidge Farm has fantastic slider menus on their re on their uh, website. If you go to their website, uh, you'll see some of them. We've got some here, uh, a Cubano and a Tex-Mex one. But you know even before you get into what's on the inside, you gotta have the right bun, and that's why I like these Pepperidge Farm slider buns because they're soft, they're that melt in your mouth, just right. like, just soft, like tear <laughs> apart, like nothing hard. Um, and I'm a griller, so I like to get outside and grill food. And uh, Weber now makes these all natural hardwood briquettes. So they burn longer, more consistent heat. And so I'm not constantly throwing more briquettes on the, uh, on the grill. Uh, and, and I know that when I get my temperature to 350, it stays at 350 the entire time. And uh -huh. that's what I like about these. And then one of the coolest things I think I mean, I know it's not the briquette, but the bag is resealable. And we've all had briquette bags. They just fall apart, and they just have that string. You pull them open with, uh -huh. and now these reseal. So I like that as well. <laughs> Jason Seahorn is an everyman. It's the little things in life. No, you are not kidding. <laughs> I Listen, what, like everything you were saying, I just figured you had somebody doing the grilling for you, right? Like this top-notch NFL guy. Uh, but the fact that you get the oh. sort of headaches that the rest of us feel is cool. I get those headaches, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I think... M m we, we talk about all these products and all the food and everything. And what might be most important is the television you watch it on. Uh -huh. okay. And so at BJ's, they've got this Samsung 55 inch for $450. I mean, it makes me want to go buy a second TV just to take advantage of the deal. Just for the sake of it. Where are you putting it? Like if you. Just, just to make sure I have the right TV. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, oh, I'll find a place. You'll find a spot. This is where we are at, at our house. Where I, was, I said to my husband, he's like, oh, did you see that, that TV? I said, where are we? We're running out of walls, honey. He's like, I know, but it's like <laughs> the, the prices are, are so irresistible now. And then the quality of the image, it's, it's hard to beat. I mean, who would have thought a few years ago we would be where we are with TV and technology? The quality is what makes yeah. you want to upgrade. And you feel bad throwing away a good TV that's only three or four years old, but three or four years in technology-wise is dog years, uh -huh. okay? That's like seven, 14, yeah. Okay, so, so listen, I've got to get your take. I mean, I know you do you do college football mostly, but you're keeping yeah. an eye on the NFL. So as we, we look toward the weekend, any thoughts? Do you want to sort of handicap uh, expectations here? Yeah, college may be my forte, but I have still dabble in the NFL, and uh -huh. I've always got an opinion. So. Sure. I, and watching these two teams, and I can say that I've really only dug into them once they started the playoffs, because during the season I watched college football. Um, but during the playoffs, what I've seen is uh, the inability for teams to get to Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. And so if you go back to the, the games they've played, Steelers couldn't get to him. Um, he has success. And Atlanta, while offensively they're phenomenal, defensively they're a little suspect, and so is New England. They've got issues there as well. But every team that – can't get to Tom Brady, ends up losing. So I don't know in my mind if Atlanta's got, they got Vic Beasley, but I don't know if they've got enough to put pressure, consistent pressure on Tom Brady all day long mm -hmm. uh, to win that game. And I think if he's got time and he sits in the pocket, yeah. he wins. No, I, I, I hear you. But I hope it's a good game. Me, yeah, me yeah. too. And for my cousin Jesse, he's a big Atlanta fan. So I'm rooting. <laughs> 
like I'm rooting for them if for nobody else but I'd Jesse. love to see them win. You know, yeah, I, li yeah. I, I like Quinn, the coach. I like Ryan. I mean, uh -huh. I, I'd like to see them win, too. I just think what I see sure. says New England probably wins this game. Well, Tom Brady. We'll see. That's uh, where they'll play. He, he is dangerous, as you said, with time. Uh, nobody better. You uh, give him time. He finds the open guy right. always. Jason Seahorn, thank you for joining us today. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Mike, over to you.